Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City. This is the first video of 2019, so I'd like to wish you a very happy new year. I hope this year will be a fantastic year for you. If you do not think it's going to be a fantastic year, you can make it fantastic because you have the power. If you don't think you can make it fantastic, then you're probably going to have a sucky year. But don't worry, that's why Small Brick City is here. For a few minutes each time, I'll drag you out from the real world and bring you to the wonderful world of LEGO. And with the new year, I've got a new project to showcase and that is this skyscraper or a work in progress skyscraper. If you've been following my videos for the past just two weeks, you probably think this looks kind of familiar and that's because of these black grilled windows. In a previous video, I showcased our first skyscraper that we're working on and that is being built by Annie. But that particular build was just a mock-up. Well, the layout was kind of fixed in terms of the footprint of the build, the size and the layout of the ground floor, but the facade had not been fixed. We put these up originally just to see how it would look like and Annie has decided to go another route. She doesn't want to use these black grill windows. She's building an art museum and event space. She's got something much more funky, innovative and interesting uh, for the facade for her building. So she's going to work on that. But that means she left all this for me and I can build my skyscraper. So this is my skyscraper. What you're seeing right here, this is all me, not Annie's. And mine is slightly smaller than hers. Her skyscraper measures 32 studs by 40 studs. It's an odd shape. This is equally as odd, but it is smaller. It's 32 studs by 24 studs. It's made of three base plates, one 16 by 32 stud base plates, and two smaller ones, two 8 by 16 base plates. And that's what we have over here. These are the two smaller base plates. And this is a work in progress to show you, uh, I guess, the concept of my skyscraper. I have no idea what this is going to be. Now, in the previous video, I gave ideas uh, and approaches of building a skyscraper. Basically, you need to figure out the concept so you can determine what this particular building is. And I also shared some cheats. And one of the cheats is you can have the skyscraper perpetually under construction, or maybe it's damaged by an earthquake, or maybe it's on fire. So that gives you an excuse uh, to keep it uncompleted and you do not have to finish the interior since it's still under construction or it's being damaged in a fire. I'm really inclined to go one of those routes. Maybe I'm going to combine the two. It's going to be a skyscraper under construction that is on fire. So I get the best of both worlds. But maybe I might finish the bottom and some, uh, maybe the first two floors and leave the rest under construction. So it could be a partially under construction building. And that's simply from being practical, you know, to build the entire skyscraper and detail every single floor. It's going to take a lot of parts, a lot of time, and of course, a lot of money. So implementing one of my cheats will really help to ease that load. But I'll definitely complete the entire facade of the skyscraper. What you see here is the main floor, which is uh, double the height of a regular floor because that's the main floor. And each floor is really something like this you see over here. So I've got three stories above the ground floor. So this is currently four stories. I intend to go at least twice this height so another three more stories of this or maybe four or five i'm not sure yet but i do know i want it to be a very nice imposing skyscraper in my city i have no idea what it will be i'm thinking some kind of office building but that can be quite mundane if it's just one office i was thinking of maybe a uh, tech company like the equivalent of a google or facebook which basically controls small brick city with its uh, technology i made it quite grand as you can see let's zoom in on the front so i wanted to use the black grills because i particularly personally like the look of that but i wanted something with some angles so i'm not sure if you can see it but there's actually a recess for where the main doors are. Now I put this guy here just to give you an idea of the scale when compared to a minifig. So 
this ground floor is quite imposing and quite large. Let's remove him for now. And you can see there are two doors which open up, very grand doors. It opens up to the main floor. And that is recessed. And this is straight. There's this very nice uh, ornate lion head. And this actually is a part. I'm sure it came with several sets, but uh, this set, uh, this part I know came with the Market Street set. And I think it fits uh, very nicely and uh, it matches the masonry bricks on the side over here. Got a bit of ornate detailing and have lights all the way running the entire front of the building. Now the sides are a bit more interesting. I wanted to create some kind of pattern even though I'm using all these grilled parts. Originally, I was thinking of using jumper plates to create recesses between different windows. But eventually, I came up with this design and it's an overlapping design. So you're actually seeing two rows of windows, which is why it looks like uh, so many grills. But basically, you have one row of windows which are in front and then there's another row of windows behind, but they're staggered. And that's why you can see this kind of multi grill look, but it gives it a three-dimensional textured look so it doesn't look so boring because for the front facade I wanted something more straight and you can see that's exactly what I've done here very straightforward I've just placed all the grills uh, or the window grill, grills or frames together but for the sides if I were to just follow the same approach as the front it can be quite boring, which is why I'm going with this entire staggered look. Now, I don't have enough window grills at this point to complete the build, and that's why you see it in this partial state. Now, I will make this modular, and I already have done that. You can see this is kind of the first floor. Okay, if I remove this, one floor can be removed, or two floors can be removed like that, but each floor can be separated. And then over here, for the ground floor, that has already been achieved in terms of the modular design. And I'll show you a top view in just a bit. Here's a look at the inside of the ground floor of the building. Now the layout's not really done, so there's no interior details at all, uh, but this will likely be the main lobby. So you come in from the main doors here, maybe there'll be an aquarium, some kind of reception, but lots of space to work with. And then the subsequent floors will be the office buildings. And let me just show you the front from this angle here and you might get a better look at how it looks like in terms of uh, the angles I've created to create a very nice grand entranceway. Now one thing I've done as you can see from this center shaft here is to create an elevator shaft and it's modular in design. I can stack the levels up to build it and this elevator will work this is the door i'll put in some buttons for an up and down now I'll say the elevator works it's not powered by electronics or anything it is human powered and i have built it such that there is a gap and this gap will run the entire height of the building and i've used some technic connectors and using the magical power of my hands i can make the elevator go up and down a nice little play feature it's a bit of a reminiscent of the expert modular town hall building let me show you this elevator it's really simple now because the shaft is all enclosed and it's all glass i didn't think it was necessary to build you know a full encased elevator so this isn't really realistic but there is limited space within a lego building so at least i do have an elevator because i think access to the other floors is very important. I can't imagine building stairs all the way up for a skyscraper. So I have this elevator, really simple. It is pretty decent in size because if not, most of the elevators are pretty small, but this you can comfortably fit two people. If you do not mind body odor, you probably could fit maybe three, even four people if you angle them right. But I think two people is just nice. And there's this connector here. It extends out through the groove that I created and that fits in perfectly and because the size is just right you know it goes up and down as smoothly as I can manage and I'm really happy with that elevator at least I've got a working elevator uh, for this skyscraper. I hope you enjoyed this work in progress look at my skyscraper. Do me a favor and tell me what business 
of businesses you think should be in the skyscraper? What's the concept of this particular building? Now, try to be realistic because my Lego city is seated in reality, so don't do anything too supernatural or too superheroish. Now, it can't be a bank. I know it looks kind of like a bank just due to the whole stately look and the you know, impressive front and the size of the lobby, but I already have the brick bank and that's in my metro city, so I'm gonna keep that as the bank. So this shouldn't be a bank. What do you think it could be? I personally think it has to be some kind of office, I guess, but what business? Maybe it could be, as I said, a tech company, or it could also be maybe some kind of uh, robotics or scientific company. Those guys have money as well, so they could build a building like that. Well, let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the comments. You guys are always giving great suggestions, so I look forward to reading them. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Once again, Happy New Year. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.